now that I have been to two of the biggest refugee camps in the world, one which was in Jordan, where a Syrian refugees lived um, for about seven years now, and uh, then now to the Rohingya camps in, in Cox's Bazar, the only thing I can see is a generation of children that will not have education, that will be illiterate, that will be vulnerable to violence. What really shook me a little bit was um, the kind of violence these children were exposed to and what their mind remembers. All those drawings that these kids had were of carnage and violence and these are children who are eight, nine, five, impressionable and I mean who live with this, who, who have seen this, who have witnessed it who will always, for the rest of their lives, remember that this is what they came out of. I just want the world to understand it doesn't matter where a child is from, it doesn't matter what the child's history was, it doesn't matter what their religion is, what their race is, what their caste or creed or any of these things are. What matters is each child contributes to the future of the world and that's why it's our problem. That's why all of these children who will or could be a completely lost generation is our problem.